Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today's tutorial is about a preset called the face points, which helps with instancing objects on faces with correct uh, rotations. First, let's look at the issue with instancing on face. If we start with a UV sphere and use meshed points to set uh, it to face, we can use the instance on points to place a Suzanne monkey on the surface. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm joining the original UV sphere so you can see how Suzanne are instanced on the face of our UV sphere. And right now, these Suzannes are not well oriented. For rotation, a common method is to use align rotation to vector with the surface normal as input. But you will quickly notice it doesn't work as expected because the points uh, from mesh to points don't carry normal data by default. So we have to capture attributes to preserve the normal before we are converting this geometry uh, to points. Now, Suzanne's are facing the normal direction, but the orientation still might not be what we expect. This is because align rotation to vector basically tells the object which way to look. For example, we can ask a Suzanne to use its z-axis to look upwards, but we didn't have information about how x and y should orient. As a result, we can have unlimited possibilities of orientations available for our Suzannes. In practice, Blender picks an arbitrary direction to define x and y among these unlimited possibilities. Sometimes it works well, other times it's just not good enough and it becomes user's responsibility to define the other axis using access to rotation node. For the second axis, usually we need a so-called tangent. This works well on curves, where we have both a normal and a curved tangent, but our mesh geometry, Blender geometry node currently provides no built-in tangents, and it's not easy to generate one manually. In short, in the older tutorial, I was teaching nodes like corner of face, vertex of corner, and edge of vertex to find an edge as the mesh tangent of each face for our instances to look at. The weight settings are important here to select the edge for X and Y to look at. For details, you can watch the older tutorials, and I don't want to repeat myself. Today's topic is more talking about some updates and design changes with the presets of face points preset. You can download it for free from the link in the description. As I always said, you don't need to learn how to build a car in order to drive it. So the usage of this preset is straightforward. You replace matched points by face points preset, and you will find it provides the rotation output already. Sometimes just experimenting all these parameters by yourself, you should be able to get what you want without much thinking. In this case, if I put it to Z axis, then it seems I'm getting a good orientation of my UV sphere for CZ. Of course, it will be useful to understand what these panels mean. Generally, these panels are offering some default weight criteria to select the edge for constructing mesh tangent. By default, the preset gives you two main ways to choose the reference edge. One method is based on 3D locations. For example, on a plane, the standard approach already runs into issues because it lacks tangent information. But with these methods, you can tell Suzanne to pick the edge that's the farthest in the X or Y direction in each face. On a UV sphere, you can have Suzanne to choose the edge that extends farthest along the z-axis. Note the difference becomes especially noticeable when looking at the top of this, uh, when looking at the top surface of this UV sphere. Uh, X and the Y option may not be good, but Z will be kind of perfect. This means these heuristics can be unreliable but they are simple to use and can handle very basic cases. 
The other method is to use UV coordinates. When you switch to the UV mode, two new sockets appear that require a UV map input. You can either connect to the UV input socket or store a named attribute and use this attribute's name. If either criteria is fulfilled, it will work. This method is more traditional and works better for complex geometry, such as Susan Monkey, where edge directions are all over the places in 3D spaces, but it also has a downside that's requiring a UV. In geometry nodes, UVs often aren't available. You may need to have an extra link, or you need to unwrap your model, or you need to run complex algorithms to generate it as it's not directly provided by curve to mesh nodes. Fortunately, in this example, uh, Suzanne has a UV map by default, and the name matches what the preset is expecting, so I don't need to do anything. And uh, this knitting pattern gets applied perfectly on her head. There is also a third option where you can define a custom weight. It can be anything, whether it's um, the location, UV, distance, and so on and so forth. In this case, it will be user's responsibility to customize the result based on what you want. The rest of the settings, like those using corner of face and edge of vertex, uh, also help with orientation but they are less important for most use case, so I will let you explore them on your own. A reminder is that you can always rotate rotation on top of the given rotation. For example, you may want the tip of your Suzanne to look outwards instead of its face. One more thing worth mentioning is the scale factor. It's designed to roughly match the area of each polygon. So when you subdivide the geometry, you ins your instances stay visually consistent without additional manual tweaking. And you still have a skill factor in case it does not match what you want. Um, at the end, just uh, play around with these nodes and then you probably will figure how it works. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.